now start designing part number 6, 7 and 8. Since these are very small parts, we will design all in a single video. Here it is part number 6 that is lock that is nut M10 and part number 7 is lock nut M10 and the next part we are going to design is shaft. So let us start by designing nut M10. So draw a since the outs dia is not given let us take it as 20 mm and draw a circle of 20 mm dia. So let us produce a hexagon structure. So take a line of 10 mm again line of 10 mm and draw a hexagon by doing like this by taking a line of 10 mm once we are done with the hexagon just delete the circle which we have produced previously now click on return select the profile and just protrusion give a protrusion of 8 mm click ok and enter 8 mm and protrude it so here in order to produce a curved structure at the edges ok before that let us create a hole that is a threaded hole that is a threaded and enter it enter the value as m10 you search for m10 and then click on that and then once we are done uh, let it be to whole extent then click ok and then place it at the center and now we have a threaded hole click on return now in order to produce a curved edges select a plane where we can see this as a diagonal view that is which looks like this so let us select the plane so let us select uh, this plane here and click on sorry click on sketch and then select this plane and now draw a profile which we need to cut out let us draw a profile and then draw a central axis draw a central axis and then click on revolve protrusion now click on sorry click only click on the profile click on the profile and then click on right mark and now select the axis of rotation now enter the value as 360 degree enter the value as 360 degree ok now click on finish now we are done with nut m10 m10 so the material for nut m10 is fe410w go to table material table fe410w then apply it to model apply it to model file file properties then summary nut m10 then go to project document number 6 project name nut m10 click on ok now let us click on save as and save the part as part number 6 now uh, in order to make lock nut that is the part number 7 we instead of creating starting from beginning let us just modify this so like previous go to sketch and edit profile and then also edit the cut sketch so just follow like as we did in the previous model
just follow the video you will understand please like and subscribe to my channel Let us open a new part and here we'll just draw a shaft. Uh, let the shaft length be little more than the width of the plumber block. So let us consider a shaft of dia 25mm and then the length of the shaft be let, it to, let us protrude it to a length of 50mm. Select profile, OK, and then enter the value as 50 mm. So we are done with the shaft. Similarly, enter the material and then go to file properties, add the properties of the shaft, and then click on save as. Thank you for watching my video. In the next video, we'll start assembly of the plumber block parts. Thank you.